Loving kindness meditation is a practice designed to boost feelings of compassion for oneself and others in order to promote our well being. This practice can help us cope with anger and other negative emotions. In this practice, we will attempt to generate compassion for ourselves and then attempt to cultivate this intention or feeling for others. At times, you may find it difficult to generate a strong sense of compassion. That is fine. Like everything in life, your ability to enter a certain state will always fluctuate. You can do this meditation from a sitting or lying position. For sitting, sit in a chair or on a cushion on the floor in a comfortable yet non-slouching position which allows you to breathe fully. This position has been called sitting with dignity. If you choose to lie, lie on your back with your palms out, allowing your body to sink into the floor, a mat, or your bed. Begin to focus on your breathing, noticing sensations surrounding the breath as you begin to tune into your body here in this moment. Allow yourself this time to check in with your body and your experience, focusing on the rising falling of the belly. When you feel comfortable resting with the flowing of your breathing, picture in your mind a person in your life who loves or loved you unconditionally. If you have trouble imagining a person, just imagine feelings of love and compassion being directed toward you. If you have a person in mind, imagine what it feels like to receive and bask in this person's love. You may want to imagine them looking down on you with kindness and warmth. Recall how this person supported you in good times and bad. Appreciate what it's like to be accepted despite and perhaps because of some of your flaws. To this person, your flaws are what makes you unique and lovable. Recall what love with no or at least few conditions feels like. Allow yourself to bask in the feelings as if you're absorbing sunshine on a beach, absorbing the warmth of compassion and love, and letting it permeate your entire being. You may also feel sensations of gratitude for this love that you have been given. 
feel free to bask within this as well. And now we will attempt to become the source as well as the object of these feelings. We will generate the feelings for ourselves. Allow the compassionate person to fade and begin taking ownership of the feelings, sending or generating kindness, compassion, and love for yourself. Realize that you are worthy of compassion. Even if you sometimes make mistakes or have negative moods. Realize that you can be unconditional with yourself, just as the other person was. You can be compassionate towards yourself, despite and perhaps because of your flaws. What you may have previously labeled flaws or mistakes may have gotten you where you are or made you an interesting person. Care for yourself as you would a newborn, a puppy, or a delicate flower with compassion. Feel embraced by your own kindness and acceptance. Even if you are able to generate only one moment of kindness and compassion for yourself, this moment can be powerful and informative, inspiring your curiosity to try this practice again. As you rest here, generating compassion for yourself, you may find it useful to silently say the following intentions to yourself. May I be free from suffering. May I know peace. May I experience contentment. See if these phrases resonate within you. Silently say them to yourself or receive them as if they come from outside you, perhaps arriving on the wind. Just let them wash over you. If they feel appropriate, then let these intentions spread within you. You can also invent your own intentions or customize them. Once again, letting the intentions resonate within. May I be free from suffering. May I know peace. May I experience contentment. Just being present with yourself. Just sending compassion to yourself. If your mind drifts away, or you're having thoughts that this practice may be strange or difficult, 
just notice that your mind is thinking and invite it to come back to the practice. Give yourself permission to try this practice and leave evaluations of it for later. Now that we have generated compassion for ourselves, we will begin to send similar feelings outward. We will first expand the field of compassion to include someone who it is easy for us to send these feelings toward. Choose a person whom you care about deeply, whether family or friend, and hold them in your heart with the same acceptance and unconditional regard you gave to yourself. Envision holding them in these feelings of compassion and love. It is more about the intention than the vividness of any image. So do not fret if the image or feeling sometimes seems vague. And now we'll cultivate the intentions for this person. May my loved one be free from suffering. May my loved one know peace. May my loved one experience contentment. Letting the intentions resonate within. May my loved one be free from suffering. May my loved one know peace. May my loved one experience contentment. Now we will expand the circle or field of compassion further to people who we don't immediately consider ourselves to be so close to. Let's extend the loving kindness to our community, the people we interact with every day often without thinking about it. Send compassion to your friends and housemates, your classmates, people who you have shared a glance with but never met, the person who serves your morning coffee or sells you a movie ticket, the city workers who clean the streets or janitors who clean your classrooms, endless people who you are connected to and who facilitate your life. Attempt to send them the same acceptance, kindness, and compassion. Cultivating the intentions. May my community be free from suffering. May my community know peace. May my community experience contentment. Letting the intentions resonate within. May my community be free from suffering. May my community know peace. May my community experience contentment. We are just generating compassion and being present with our own experience of what it is like. It may be extremely challenging, with the mind drifting, daydreaming, or flat out resisting. Just observe the mind's activities, including what it feels like to attempt to generate compassion, and invite it back whenever it wanders. Once again, we'll expand the circle outwards making a huge jump from our community to all the world's people. See if you can send the same feelings of compassion to people across the entire globe. And despite differences among people and conflict that often arises, we can contemplate the fact that all people 
share certain core desires to be free from suffering, to find contentment and happiness, to exist in peace, and to find meaning. We may want to consider that wars are more often caused by the ignorance of large institutions than any evil in one person. We may want to consider all the people who live in conditions much harsher than our own, possibly starving or surrounded by constant warfare and political turmoil. Some of these obstacles might make it seem more difficult to generate compassion. Yet obstacles and problems may also let us see how necessary compassion may be. Attempt to send the same acceptance, regard, kindness and compassion to the world's people. Cultivating the intentions. May the world's people be free from suffering. May the world's people know peace. May the world's people experience contentment. Letting the intentions resonate within. May the world's people be free from suffering. May the world's people know peace. May the world's people experience contentment. And now, let's extend it outward one last time to include life beyond humans. Let's consider all animals, plants, and the ecosystem as a whole. Water, soil, sunshine, air. Realizing that all life is connected and that all life can be endangered and deserves care. Also realizing that our entire planet is part of a larger universe, a larger system, and that it is also vulnerable to dangers such as asteroids or comets. Attempt to generate intentions of compassion to all living beings, including objects which we sometimes classify as non-living, such as the planet. Letting the intentions resonate within. May all beings be free from suffering. May all beings know peace. May all beings experience contentment. For the next few minutes, direct feelings of loving kindness and compassion wherever you wish, either to yourself, your loved ones, your community, the world's people, or all beings. Wherever you feel called to generate compassion, or wherever is easiest for you. Now, as we are about to wrap up this practice, you may want to give yourself credit for attempting to generate compassion today. Just sitting here in this way is healing in itself. Furthermore, expert practitioners believe 
that this type of practice may also have side benefits. As you return to your daily routine, you may notice that thoughts of loving kindness suddenly pop into your head. This might happen in the most simple of circumstances, such as an exchange with a cashier. You might linger a moment longer, pay a compliment, or even just share a smile. The interaction goes smoother and both parties feel more energized. Loving kindness practice can expand these instances. The possibilities are pleasant to consider. <laughs>